Welcome back to the Rift Breaker, Heart of the Swamp DLC. This is part six, guys. We are about to uh, rift travel to a new location, the Fungal Thicket, to uh, figure out what to do with the resin from the mushroom tree stuff and things. Before we do that, though, we do, we do have a little bit more research to do here. We just completed our gas grenade research tree. So we could start on some other stuff and things as well. There are some new research stuff and things that are locked, so we still have quite a bit of story left to do, I think, guys. Uh, we could just start on pff, random other weapons, like the mortar, the trident, tornado, lots of random cool stuff. We also got some other guns we can craft up. Like, uh, where is it? We already got the repeater rifle. We don't need that. Damage trail cryo. Don't need that. What was the other stuff? Uh, oh, yeah, gas grenades. Duh. Where's that at? Where do we craft that up at? Is that an ability? That must be an ability, right? New items available. So we have a grenade. Here's a gas grenade. Could try that out. Let's compare them. Splash damage is the same. Eight meters. One of them does acid damage over time. 50. The other does area damage of 600. Cooldown's the same. Let's, uh, yeah, let's switch it out for now. Let's see how we do. Give it a shot. See what it's all about. I still need to find a ex uh, an extreme lightning sentry. Still haven't found that yet. Here, let's uh, let's launch it. Ooh, very cool particle effect. I like it. It's a big radius. Lasts for quite a while. Nice. All right. Well, with that, let's go. A rift jump to the fungal thicket. We're in. Great jump error. These are not the coordinates that we were aiming for. Something interfered with the jump. How far are we from the destination? A few kilometers. We landed in a very dense thicket. Our target is directly to the east of our current position on a small hill. Okay, we can get there on foot. Let's go. All right, it's on the complete other side, directly across from us. Not a problem, though, not a problem. We can make this happen. Let's keep planting. Oh, Ooh, it's a tree! <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd. The game's a little laggy right now. New blueprints are available for crafting. Are these guys all alive? Oh, what? He made, a, he made a root barrier. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't expect that. These creatures were camouflaged as trees. We have to be extremely careful around here. The flora and fauna in this biome are extremely dangerous. I didn't expect that. Has been destroyed. Take through the vines. Vegetation in this part of the swamp is extremely dense. The jungle around our HQ seems like a forest nursery compared to this. Based on my previous scans, we are probably walking about dark brown roots right now. Are you suggesting that it's responsible for this lush growth? I think that is a possibility. Biomass density in this area is statistically above average by a large margin. Nice, we got a forest field. Interesting. Let's see what we can find at our destination. Yeah, baby. Oh, by the way, should we try out some of our new abilities? Like, um, for example, we have... We have the new drone stuff and things, the drone swarm. Let's equip it. Let's try it out. 
How does it work? They just come out and attack people around me? Ooh, a long cooldown. It's like 23 seconds of a cooldown. Mr. Riggs, are you sure that we're walking toward a small hill? We're on a rather steep incline, and we didn't start our journey at sea level. I've just seen glimpses of the Fungal Swamp River Delta in the distance below us. I may have used imprecise terminology, This is a small... The drones are going nuts! Holy crap! I'm not even firing a shot. Look at the so-called Fungal Swamp area. It is the highest peak within its geographical borders. Sounds like you were just improvising in the beginning. And now you're trying to be a smartass. I am only trying to be more human, Ashley. You're such a fast learner. Dude, her and this robot have the weirdest relationship. Strike, baby. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Release the drones. We are about two thirds of the way toward our initial bridge of coordinates. Okay, that's good. I hope the vegetation is less dense where we're headed. That is rather unlikely, Ashley. I know, but you can't blame me for having Ooh, What are these guys? I can. That is simply bad logic. We should have programmed you with some empathy. My creators did not have empathy, so they could not program it. Somehow, that makes a lot of sense. It's getting cloudy. Oh, sorry, little it looks buddy. Like it's going to rain. Holy hell. It's raining. It will decrease the output from solar panels until it stops. All right, we're going to have some enemies coming to attack me here. Launching, launching gas grenades, baby. Ooh. We're just cutting them down. Let's open this bad boy up. Get a mod, probably. That mortar turret's pretty cool. We got floating gravity mines. I think blue. I think blue is advanced, so they're not that great. How close are we, guys? We're almost there. Another blue one, eh. Near the top of this mountain. Is that smoke coming from beyond the edge? Is this a volcano? That would make sense, Ashley. But I do not understand why the planetary scanner did not report that. That might explain why our rift jump failed in the beginning. I just hope you didn't mistake the fungal resin energy flux for some lava flows. That is highly unlikely. Volcanic activity would mostly produce thermal radiation. The planetary scanner picked up regular bursts of gamma rays with the same oscillation pattern as from the fungal resin's matter versus antimatter energy metabolism process. Okay, that sounds reasonable. 
The rain is over. Turns out that some things are not as different as back on Earth. Everything has been destroyed. Oh, it's a lot of trees. Location. That you marked? Affirmative. My scans indicate that there is a large energy condensation within the area behind these rocks. Okay, I can see a crevice that we can fit through. Let's see what is hiding on the other side. Our building has been destroyed. These areas always make me wonder, though, if like I were to go down to the south or the far north, if there would be any anything secret that would be really good, you know. But it's such a long way to travel. All right, let's uh, let's get inside, shall we? Let's keep pressing forward. We've made it to the other side, Mr. Riggs. Are you getting better energy flux readings on this side of the wall? Yes. I am picking up two distinct areas with high energy condensation. I am marking them on our map. I wonder what we're going to see there. Those dark thorn tendrils that were sucking the resin from the great mushroom tree looked very intimidating. Almost like an evil presence. This place is cool, man. Warning! I am detecting a lot of movement near our destination. Expect strong resistance, Ashley. Roger that. Oh, I'm ready, baby. Set the drones free. Get an airstrike coming in. Yeah. Heal up a little bit, put a decoy down. smooth right now for some reason. Feels good. These creatures were amassing around this mushroom tree, and the dark zone growth is here as well. It's sucking up the resin. Ashley. This present tree is a part of the same organism as the great mushroom tree where we have built our outpost. Your theory was correct. This is just another fruit body of a single giant organism. These giant fruit bodies produce a special resin that is insanely rich in nutrients and organic energy cells. The dark thorn seems to be attacking them, leaching the fungal resin. This theory makes sense. We should learn more about the dark thorn to confirm if it can pose a threat to our mission on Galatea 37. 
We still have not confirmed if this is a natural parasite or some more recent mutation that could be dangerous to this ecosystem. We have another point of interest remaining in this area. Let's check it out to see if we can find more answers. All right, let's go check out the place to the south now. Get some drones up in the air. <laughs> I'm just blasting my way through the <laughs> through the vines, baby. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. Okay, all right. Oh, we can get a shield. Nice. Let's get more drones. Nearby, I am detecting a large group of creatures near our destination, Ashley. Prepare for a fight. Oh, I'm good, baby. Ain't no thing. Hey, we've got fireflies tonight. Gas grenades for everybody. Diggity dog, baby. A building has been destroyed. We've cleared out this nest. It looks very similar to the previous one. The local creatures were swarming around another mushroom tree that is entangled with dark green growth. It may seem like there is nothing new to learn from this, but it is precisely what we needed. The dark horn tendrils span out underground from both of these locations, and I can track the energy flux from the fungal resin that they are leaching out from the mushroom trees. It all connects at a central spot, not that far from here. I think we will find more answers there. Yo. All right, we're gonna go travel to the possible Dark Thorn location up at the center right. Shouldn't be a problem. It's pretty rare for us to get taken down to below half health. So I, I feel like we're gonna be okay. What the flip? I don't know how to describe it. What is this thing? That was a very disturbing encounter. What was that thing, Mr. Riggs? It didn't fit here. It didn't fit here at all. I do not know, Ashley. Oh, what? Clearly defined form. What is it? It did not look like any other Galatean creature we have met before. I it's airstrike it its ass. To describe it as a multicellular colony with a central cell that was quickly divided into smaller, similar cells. The smaller cells were acting as both a defensive and an offensive mechanism. I think it was drawn to our presence. Most of the Galatean wildlife is aggressive to our presence. That is nothing new. However, I think that this creature was also aggressive towards the local flora. It was destroying everything on its path. It looked like an embodiment of a living disease. Let's call this thing a cancer off. This encounter can't be a coincidence. We're trying to track down the source of Darkthorn, and this is what we get? You are probably right, Ashley. We should expect strong resistance. That was pretty nutsos. This is it, Mr. Riggs. 
Dark Thorn Bridge is everywhere around here. I concur. We have almost reached our goal. I'm trying to scan it so I can do extra damage to it. is coming from a nearby nest. To recover it later. No way! No way! Oh, the madness! The madness! It reconstructed me back at the left side! Well, that's cool. Nice. It's cool that it's actually giving me a challenge. Man, it's kind of hard when you're fighting in there because I'm getting like 10 FPS when I when I'm inside of that area. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. Let's go get our gun back. And clear it out. Like, look at that! The FPS is just dropping, baby. But now it's running good. Weird. Now it's running bad. Now it's running good. Very inconsistent. All right, we're almost back. We got our gun back? We did. Nice, we got our nuke back. All right, beautiful. I'm not detecting any significant hostile presence in the area anymore. All of this growth looks corrupted. This place is like an evil, twisted version of this biome. There's so much of the dark thorn growth everywhere. Is this where it's been pumping all of the resin to? Jeez! ...that we have tracked were all coming to this place. But it does not mean that this is the only site that has been contaminated with this abnormal growth. I'm wondering if the cancer life was controlling the growth of the Darkthorn, or if it was the other way around. The Darkthorn looks like a mutated version of the Thorn virus abundant in this biome. And the cancer off layers look like they are attached to the thickest Darkthorn tendrils. Evidence points in a single direction. What if the cancer off is trying to take control of this enormous fungus that spans the entire swamp? How and why would it do that? Think about it. An organism of this size must be too difficult to corrupt easily. You'd have to weaken it first. The resin is the lifeblood of this huge fungus. We've already seen what happened to the great mushroom tree when it lost most of its resin. It was infected with parasites and started to dry out. At the same time, the cancer off is using the resin to multiply itself and grow in strength. If we don't stop this process, it can lead to disaster. This place is contaminated. We have to burn it to the ground. I believe oh. a timed nuclear explosive at this site before we rift jump to safety. 
That will cleanse the entire area. Yes, I think this is the best way to make sure it doesn't grow back. We have to return to the Fungal Swamp outpost as soon as possible. We left the Darkthorn growth intact over there. Let's see what happens to it after we nuke this place. Let me know when you are ready to proceed. The explosion is going to send out strong seismic waves, which could wake up the volcano. We will not be able to return here. That's good. I don't intend to get back here. Let's hope we can save the Fungal Swamp ecosystem by burning out the rot in this place. A new technology has been developed. All right, we're gonna we're gonna nuke the place. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm just kind of looking around to see if I can find any any extreme uh, extreme level mods around here. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Do we just rift jump out? I think that's all we got to do, right? All right, we need to we need to do we need to do more research as well. We can do flame blade. What the flip? I'm all about that. I'm all about that. We can do Tornado Advanced as well. I think we just jump, right? It just says annihilate the mission area with a nuclear explosive. Oh, hold on. Wait, there's something on my mini on my mini map or on the, on the edge of my screen. I think I need to go over towards it. Let's go take a look. I don't see it on the mini map though. Oh yeah, it's it's right there. Okay, never mind. Oh, getting a little distracted. I almost rift jumped without uh, doing the objective. That would have been bad. All right, let's do it. Make it happen. Was like the weakest nuke I've ever seen. We are back at the Fungal Swamp outpost. I have visual confirmation from the planetary scanner that the cancer up there has been swiped clean by the explosion. That's reassuring. I can hear that the volcano eruption is still ongoing. Nature will take care of that cancer roth abomination. It looks like the great mushroom tree is doing better after we remove the parasites. And the water around our outpost also seems to be a bit clearer. All of these signs are positive, Ashley. However, the Darkborn growth appears to be mostly unaffected by our actions. It is still draining resin from the tree. That's not good. I secretly hoped it would just wither and die. Can you try to trace the fungal resin's energy flux again? Is it moving far away? All of the traces end close to our position. That's good. Maybe we've destroyed it after all, and these are just the remaining parts. We should destroy this location to prevent any further contamination by this organism. I suggest a 27 megaton fusion explosion at our oh. outpost coordinates to eliminate any unnecessary risk. No, we can't just nuke everything. First, you didn't even want to investigate this area, and now you want to obliterate it? One of my priorities is to suggest the most efficient solutions. This swamp is irrelevant to our primary objective on Galatea 37. We should not waste any additional resources over here. That's a bit short-sighted. Don't nuke the planet that you want to live on in the future if you don't have to. Please add that to your list of priorities. How would you suggest to remove the Darkthorn then? We can protect the Great Tree with plasma shield generators and precisely target the Darkthorn growth with heavy cluster missiles. 
they have enough range to cover the entire tree. And if we calibrate the shield generators precisely, then the damage should be minimal. The remaining thorn vine should die off without a resin source. I think you are leaving a large margin of error. But we can still revert to my era if this does not work out. The first heavy cluster missile launcher is online and ready. All right, we got to set up uh, two shield uh, generators around the tree and build and power three HCM launcher launchers. We have one of those. We need to do two more beautiful guys. Anyway, we're going to save that for the next episode. All right, we got to be getting near the end of the DLC, I would imagine, right? I mean, we still we still do have some research trees that are not unlocked. So maybe we still got a ways to go. Who knows? Who's to say? Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out. As always, hope you have a great rest of your night. And I will see you fine folks in the next episode.